It's time now for Look Lace and Local Sports and Sports. The Lincoln High School baseball team advanced to the Sweet 16 on Wednesday with a doubleheader sweep of the Monday's Mill Tigers up at Monday's Mill. Jackets win game one by a score of 8-7 to seven and win the second game by a score of 16-1 to one in just three innings of play. Round two set for Tuesday, and if Woodland can beat St. Pius today in game three, that second round would be here at home at Howard Bowl Warren Field beginning Tuesday. If St. Pius wins today, then Wayne County hits to St. Pius for a rematch of last year's playoffs as St. Pius came to Howard Bowl Warren Field and eliminate Wayne County in the round of the Sweet 16. In game one yesterday, the game was tied 4-4, hit it to the seventh inning when Wayne County loaded the bases with two odds, and senior Luke Boykin hit a grand slam home run, gave Wayne County an 8-4 lead. Jackets took that 8-4 lead to the bottom of the seventh, had two odds, nobody on, but Monday's Mill rallied for three runs to make it 8-7, had the tying run at second, the winning run at first. Carson Shaver comes on and gets the final out by striking out the batter and preserving the win. Luke Boykin went three for four with the home run, a double, three runs scored, and four runs batted in. Jackson Dolan went two for three. Tyler Walling, two for four. Starting pitcher Asher Cathy, another strong outing, went into the six before being pulled from the game. In game two, a blowout. Monday's Mill simply ran out of pitching, couldn't throw strikes, walked ten batters in the game. Wayne led 9-1 after the first inning, 12-1 after the second, and won the ball game 16-1 after three innings on the run rule in the state playoff action. Gavin Mixon picks up the win. He struck out five in just three innings of work. Luke Boykin, two for three with a double and a single. Two more runs scored. Tyler Waller and Jackson Dolan each went two for three. Garrison Grantham, one for three with a triple. After the doubleheader sweep, we had a chance to talk with head coach Justin McDonald. Uh, what our, our guys responded, you know, I kind of challenged them after game one. Uh, you know, it's tough coming on the road and playing in uh, uh, an environment like this. And, you know, kudos to them guys. They, they – they're athletic and they can play and you know that that third baseman leadoff guy or center fielder wherever they put him he might be one of the best players we've seen all year and you know credit to them for for battling hard but give our guys a little more credit for winning that first game uh, when backs against the wall and you know i don't think we necessarily swung it very well in that first game but you know we come off the ropes in that second game and put it on quick you know talk to the players i I mentioned you it's just so great to have this support of the home run club and the community like i said i heard several businesses call want to provide meals and things like that yeah what's it like to have a community like wayne county support the athletic program like they do Uh, okay you can't explain it uh you know it's you know, I can remember when I got to Wayne County in 08, 09, and I went to my first home run club meeting as an assistant coach. And, you know, of course, I'd, I'd been in college for a couple of years, and the only, only thing, I had a brother that was a high school coach. But, you know, going in and seeing that what they were talking about doing for the kids and for the baseball program and then how it's grown since I've been here and, you know, what it's done before I got here. And, you know, that that's that's something that's special. And, it, and I've said it time after time, it's not like that everywhere. And, you know, I think our kids understand that. I know our coaching staff. I know I do. I appreciate everything they do. And, you know, the, the, the fortunate thing for us, we won today, so we get to turn around and, you know, I'm not sure the scores. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it. St. Pius won the first game 2 zip. They were winning the second game, so okay. I'm sure that's where it hit it. Okay, so uh, obviously we'll be back at it on Tuesday on the road. And, uh, you know, Home Run Club will respond again and, 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 and treat these kids like, like – first class like they should be and uh, you know that that's what it's about the kids and, and you know our home run club and, and athletic department and, and school system does a great job taking and putting the kids first you mentioned this morning on our show the pitchers have always given you quality outings you get two today Kathy yeah. gives you good six innings uh, Gavin looks strong into three but they did they did their job but how special is it to have that boy can kid back in this lineup oh, shoot. I, I, I was over there. Have you ever coached a t- more talented kid? I don't think so. Uh, not all the way around. And, you know, uh, obviously I don't hurt no feeling. There's been a lot of great players come through here. But, you know, a guy that can deliver like that in clutch situations and, and do it with such ease and such poise and, and be so humble about it, there's something special about him. And, you know, uh, I'm just glad we get to go to battle with him one more time. And I was telling myself, I just hope we don't hit into a line drive double play or something. Just give him a chance to get up with basic loaded. And there it was. And, you know, I don't know how many times after that he come up. Seemed like every time bases were loaded and uh, he contributed and, and delivered. So I'm just proud of our guys, proud of our coaching staff. And you know, give our coaching staff. I, I wasn't around a lot this week, and uh, you know, they handle practice, they handle the trip up, and, and you know, they took care of things like like it should be. And you know, there was no hesitation on my part of, of having those guys do that. So thanks to them, and you know, thanks to the crowd that that come up here. You know, we, we want to, as we said, take Howard Bow North next week and. You know, fill that place up and be a factor there next week. Okay. 
Yeah, once again, those Conan's coach just went on after the double hunter sweep. Once again, Wayne waits today to see who they will play. Again, Woodland came back to win that second ball game five, four over St. Pius. So they play game three today. If Woodland wins, they're a four seed. They would come to Howard Bell Warren on Tuesday. Again, if St. Pius wins, they're a one seed. Wayne County would head to St. Pius. They will have the opponent destination here tomorrow on local sports. 14 of the 16 matchups were sweeps in the 5A bracket. Again, most of the bracket has been determined. Again, the only two teams they're waiting on is the winner of the Woodland-St. Pius matchup. Again, they'll play Wayne County and the winner of the Veterans-Woodward game three. Veterans won game one 12-10. Woodward won game two 5-3. The winner of that plays the winner or plays Decatur, who swept Calhoun. Again, the other brackets are full. Appalachia swept Chapel Hill 13-3, 15-zip. Whitewater swept Union Grove 7-2, 7-zip. Coffee, a team from our region, Number two seed, they sweep at home. They beat Jonesboro 6-1 and 15-3. They go to Cartersville. Cartersville swept Chambly 4-3 and 14-6. Greenbrier sweeps Jackson of Atlanta 13-0, 12-2. They'll meet Ola. Ola swept McIntosh 3-0, 9-0. Stars Mill will play North Springs. Stars Bill swept Locust Grove 10-3, 3-2. Jackson County got swept by North Springs 13-3, 11-8. And Decatur defeated Calhoun in a sweep 4-3-7 zip. Again, they're waiting on the winner of the Veterans-Woodward matchup. Jones County lost to Harris County. Harris County sweeps 12-2-15-3. Loganville wins over Midtown in a sweep 10-0-12-0. Loganville always has that excellent pitching. Again, two shutouts yesterday against Midtown, 10-zip and 12-zip. Blessed Trinity will play Ware County. Blessed Trinity swept Southwest to Cav 4-2 and 21 to nothing. And Ware County at home sweeps Forest Park 11-1, 13-1. So, again, the bracket's just about full for the Sweet 16. Only two teams left to decide who's going to play who. And, again, Wayne County waiting today to see who wins between Woodland and St. Pius. Again, if Woodland wins, they come to Jessup on Tuesday. If St. Pius wins, Wayne County travels to St. Pius on Tuesday. High school golf team back in action today at home. At the Pine Forest Country Club, they'll host both Richmond Hill and Appling County. Tea time, 3.30. Speaking of golf, don't forget the 22nd Annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament this Saturday at 8.30 at the Pine Forest Country Club. 18-hole, four-person scramble, $60 per person. Again, if you're interested, call the Pro Shop at 427-6505. NFL Draft gets underway this evening in Las Vegas. Trayvon Walker expected to be the number one pick by the Jaguars. Again, he's a defense fan from University of Georgia. Aiden Hutchins expected to go in the second pick by the Detroit Lions. Again, he's a hometown kid out of Michigan. Again, the Falcons have the eighth overall pick in round one. Again, it all gets underway tonight beginning 8 p.m. ESPN will televise the first round live tonight beginning at 8 p.m. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.